All right, today we're going to start exploring Pixlr.com. That's P-I-X-L-R.com. So to get started, please go ahead and open your browser and go to Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R.com. I'm going to recommend that you open it in Google Chrome's browser. Okay, once you're here, you have three options, Pixlr Editor, Pixlr Express, and Pixlr Omatic. We're going to start with Pixlr Editor, but I do encourage you to check out Pixlr Express and Pixlr Omatic at a later time. So go ahead and click on Pixlr editor. For those of you who are familiar with Photoshop, uh, Pixlr is very similar. Uh, not quite as many features in, as in Photoshop, but it is free and it is web-based so you can access it um, from any computer that is connected to the internet. So that is something that makes um, the editor in Pixlr uh, really convenient uh, and easy to use. So you see that we have a few options here. We can create a new image. We can open an image from the computer, open image from a URL, okay, like a web address, open image from a library, that's your Pixlr library, um, or you can connect to Facebook, uh, notice that here, or you can use Pixlr on a mobile device such as your phone or tablet. Um, we are going to open image from a URL, but first we have to specify what that URL is. So let's go and get a picture. And we want to make sure we get one that is copyright free. So I'm just going to go to Google Images, okay, and click Images up here. And let's just Google Place. Okay, so here's some places. I'm going to use my search tools to narrow this down, and I encourage you to do the same. For usage rights, we want something that we can reuse and that we can modify because we're going to change it just a little bit. And if you notice uh, here, it says labeled for non-commercial reuse with modification. I'm going to choose that. If you don't see uh, that option here, you can come over here to the right, choose on um, advanced search. And then uh, down here at the bottom, it says usage rights, and you can um, change that here. Okay. All right. So it says labeled for non commercial reuse with modification. And because I'm dealing with images, you want something that's what we call a high resolution. So something that has a lot of pixels. Uh, if it doesn't have a lot of pixels, it's going to tend to look a little bit blurry, especially the bigger it gets. So I'm just going to choose large for my um, picture size. Okay, and here I have um, Google Images results for place, large pixel uh, size or resolution, and it's labeled for non-commercial reuse with modification. I actually really like this first picture, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And notice we can visit page, and it's on Wikimedia, I'm sorry, Wikipedia, or we can view image. I'm going to choose view image, and this image so the URL will appear up here um, in the address bar. So this is what we want. Notice this is a really pretty high resolution panoramic picture. Uh, so this is going to be really pretty to work with. Uh, for those who don't know, um, here's the place name up here. And that is in Paris, France. So I'm going to right click and copy this URL. Come back to Pixlr and choose open image from URL and backspace that. And then I'm just going to control V to paste or you can right click and choose paste, it doesn't matter. And then choose okay. Let's try that one more time. Control V, choose okay. All right, notice it's loading. May take just a minute because this is um, a high resolution large image and that's okay. So while this is loading, I want you to go ahead and to do the same thing to find this particular picture in Google Images. Uh, make sure that you have the large image resolution size and that you have the labeled for non-commercial use uh, with modification. If you need to pause the video, pause the video to make sure that you get here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is talk about this picture size. Down here in the bottom left hand corner, you see this is 4,000 pixels by 1864 pixels. Obviously, it's 4,000 pixels across 1864, 1,864 pixels um, from top to bottom, and that PX stands for pixels. We're going to change the size. So the first thing we need to do is to explore our options up here at the top. If I choose Edit, I've got some options, Image, Layer, Adjustment, we're going to work with a couple of these here. Uh, the filters are fun uh, to work with a little bit later. Okay, view, language, and help. 
Wow, this is available in a lot of languages. I don't think I realized that. Okay, we're going to go back to image and choose image size. Now, notice you have image size and canvas size, two different things. Canvas is like if you're in art class, you know, you're painting on a canvas, but what you actually put on the canvas may not be very big. So canvas is kind of like the, the background that you're working with and the image is actually what's on it. So we're going to um, use image size. So I want to constrain the proportion. So leave that checked. And basically what this means is it's going to not get distorted. Okay. Distorted means like if it's like really wide or really narrow or um, something where it doesn't look right anymore. Okay. Um, I'm going to take this one and go down to, let's do 1280. Take a little slider and go to 1280. Okay. And then I choose okay. All right, and notice down here in the bottom 1280, it automatically made it 596 pixels up and down, and that's what we want. Okay, here's your zoom. Uh, obviously, it's at 31%. You want to be 100% zoomed in, so you can change it here. Or uh, you got view, and then you got zoom in here, and notice the shortcut is control plus plus. I'm just going to type 100 here. All right. And there we go. All right. So we've got the picture here. Um, next thing, I want to play with some adjustments. So we're going to do brightness and contrast. And you just kind of play with it. Notice brightness is kind of like as it gets darker at night, you know, harder to see. And uh, then it lights up a little bit more as you go down. Um, just, just play with it. We want to look, something that kind of looks realistic, so not too bright, not too uh, dark. Okay, and contrast. Notice it's going to get like a little bit orange, more orange tone to it, or it's going to like completely almost disappear here. So I'm going to put my contrast. And this is a good picture to do contrast to because you've got the dark sky against the light um, uh, palace here. I'm going to choose OK. All right, and notice over here on the right hand side, you've got history, the history panel where you've got kind of what you did. So if you need to go back and change something, you can. Next, we're gonna look at hue and saturation. Okay, and notice as I go to the left, my hue becomes more blue. Okay, and it does the same thing over to the right. So this is a pretty way to play with different colors. I don't know, I kind of like it in the blue. Um, Let's actually make it kind of, we'll make it kind of not realistic just to play with it. All right, and then the saturation. Notice it becomes a little bit more like a black and white photograph. Or it comes even more blue. I'm going to take it, I'm going to make it like that. And then you got your lightness, okay. Um, I want to be able to see kind of the roof line up here, so I'm going to leave my lightness uh, like this. When I click colorize, that's what it does. I'm going to leave that unchecked. Choose OK. All right, so over here you can see we've opened image, we changed the image size, we explored brightness and contrast, and we did hue and saturation. Um, filter's kind of fun. Like, let's say we did pixelate. Okay, and you got cell size. The higher it is, the more pixelated it is. I'm going to cancel that. We can do, um, what's Glamour Glow? Well, that's kind of cool. But then you can't see this um, part right here. So if I want to undo, I can do Control-Z or Edit Undo up here. And let's just try one more. Let's do Art Poster. What is that going to do? Whoa. Okay, and I can play with it, inverse, whoa, that's crazy, I'm going to cancel that. All right, so I'm going to leave mine like this, but I want you to go through and to play with the different filters um, available, whoa, that's kaleidoscope, that's kind of cool, that's kind of cool, I'm going to cancel that. Okay, so play with it for just a minute, and then um, we're going to save it, I want to make sure that we save this correctly, okay? So we're going to choose File, Save. All right, you've got a few different ways you can save it. You can save it to your computer. You can save it to your Pixar library, which requires your Google account to log in. Okay, normally this is what I would do. Um, if you know your Google account, you can log in with this, uh, your school Google account, not your personal one. 
if you don't, uh, you can just do your My Computer. Um, but at home, if you're playing with this, you can do Facebook, Flickr, Picasa. These are all different ways to, to link pictures. So um, I'm just going to do My Computer, and I'm going to call this actually what it is, and then just put edited behind it. Okay, and notice you got different formats. Um, the JPEG, good for most photos, transparent um, for PNG. Now, this is a ping file, rather. Uh, it's going to come in handy when we're um, putting one picture on top of another background and kind of mixing pictures up and superimposing one on top of the other. Then you're going to want um, a little bit more transparency with one of those. But for right now, we're going to leave it at JPEG. But notice you got ping, bitmap. TIFF and um, a PXD file, which is a layered pixlar image. Okay, so we're going to leave ours at JPEG. And notice you can do quality. I'm going to slide my quality up to 100 and it tells us what the size of the picture is. So if it's a lower uh, quality, it's going to be less, um, require less memory. If it's higher quality, it's going to require more memory. And this is okay. So I'm going to choose okay. And it's going to ask me where I want to save it. I'll just do desktop. And that's fine. Click save. Uh, you should save yours into a folder in your My Documents or My Pictures that is appropriate uh, to the class. So if you have a folder called Technology Class, you can put it in there. And that is an introduction really quickly to Pixlr.com's um, editor. We are going to be using it a little bit more. So I uh, just wanted you to, um, to start with this. And then uh, obviously you'll be able to play around with it a little bit more. All right. Thanks for watching. Have fun.